I think the biggest thing for me is my passion for, for football. Huge hit from the CFL's leading tackler, Solomon Elamimian. You know, the love I had for the game was you know, something that would not allow me to. Great tackle by Elamimian who drops Cackard. Let the opportunity go to waste. Crenshaw High School. Went to Crenshaw High School out of um, Los Angeles, California, and um, you know it was really good for sports. You know I, I love playing sports, basketball, and football, and I think that school really helped me to you know focus on football, and, and that's kind of where it all started for me, understanding my goal, my vision, and you know obviously there's you know different things that you know you have to deal with growing up in inner city Los Angeles, crime, drugs, gangs. Three of my closest friends are felons, you know, and. Not that they're bad people, they just made bad choices. And that's how, you know, unforgiving a lot of times inner city is. You know, we're kids at that at that point in life, you know, make some bad choices as kids. You know, many of my friends didn't have fathers at home, and I did. You know, and that was a big reason why I am the way I am, because I had a father that cared, mother that was loving, and brothers and sisters, and, you know, so I've been blessed to have a great family. I remember just loving you know, just hitting people and just feeling like, you know, it's the greatest thing to hit somebody and not get in trouble for it as a kid. And, you know, to be quite honest, it came natural for me. Solly was always a bigger guy out the whole house. Uh, I think that really he saw that we did really well. Uh, I have another brother, Jacob, who also played football. So Solly just got along with the Pats. had one college give me a scholarship and um, you know I had three at the time and two others backed out and Hawaii was the only scholarship I had left. So, you know you have a, another kid getting you know picked over you because they might be inch taller or might weigh 10 or 15 pounds but on the film you're a better player. So at the time it was very frustrating but um, it drove me. It just gave me motivation to prove these colleges wrong. Solomon was one of the guys that uh, was on my radar, uh, him and uh, Adam Leonard. And, uh, you know, there was these are two linebackers from the University of Hawaii who I had, had seen tape on. And, uh, you know, so we went to the free agent camp. Uh, Solomon came, uh, worked out for us. He didn't run as well as we had hoped, but yet, uh, you know, he can, you can really see the, the instincts, the linebacker instincts that he had. I said to Solomon, you know, we have another workout in Vegas in about two months, uh, you know, get yourself up to Vegas, uh, run a certain time for me, and I'll sign you. It was one of the situations where you just want an opportunity. You know, you just, you're hungry for an opportunity, and that's where I, w I was at. You know, it was my last chance, and I knew it. And I just let him know, give me this opportunity, and I back to my words. You know, the thing I can remember very distinctly that he said to me, he says, Coach, you're, you're not going to regret signing me. And, uh, you know, obviously, uh, you know, he uh, was true to his word came to BC Lions, I was fourth on depth chart. And then obviously I was worried because, you know, if you know anything about politics, when you're fourth on depth chart, that's kind of how they view you. You can look at it two ways. You can look at it as discouragement or you can look at it as encouragement and motivation. And that's what I did. Defense a little bit to the 34 defense with three down linemen and four linebackers and it's big 56. You know, I always work hard. I always try to prove myself. And, um, the determination I have, I don't think um, it can be ever questioned. Cuts back inside, big hit. The, the rookie year was probably the most significant award, meant the most that I've ever received. I've had a lot of awards, but that rookie year is the one war that I wouldn't trade for nothing because of what it symbolized, you know, where I was a year ago. I won a rookie year. I won a great cup. I'd, pre I'd done pretty good for myself in two years. Let me try my luck and go down south. 
you know, when he went down to the NFL. Uh, you know, it's hard to understand sometimes why good players maybe don't get the same opportunity as players with size and with speed. And, uh, you know, so Solomon went down there. I don't know if he got uh, the best opportunity to show what he could do, but, you know, he worked hard at it. Uh, at the end of it, uh, it uh, wasn't the right fit for him. He came back, and uh, he's been a tremendous contributor since. I have no regrets about it because, you know, those are what you – you play for experiences. So me coming back, you know, midway through the season, not starting was new for me. I'd never been on a team and not not started. So it was tough for me. And, you know, something I had to deal with. I had to mature and, you know, understand that it wasn't always about me. I don't think it will be hard at all for me. Of course, you know, I was disappointed, but that's in the past. And I'm just ready to move forth. And I'm really excited just to be back. And, you know, uh, the camaraderie is great. And, you know, just being back with my new team. <laughs> Career sacks with one here tonight, and look at Philadelphia. Oh, a way to hold this team to 20 points, what does that say? Yeah, that's just testament to the, you know, how strong our team is. We have guys that can come up and step up, and you know what? It's never about the opponents, it's always about us. We play the way we, we can play, it doesn't matter. We can be anybody in this league. As you, as you get close to the end of the season, you start thinking. You start, you know, dreaming. You start, that's all you think about is doing something that's never been done. I just remember just being anxious and having so many emotions and you know when they finally said call my name up to stage it was it was probably one of the best films I've ever felt. So I had my mindset that my goal every time I go in the weight room when I want to you know work out is to be the best and that's why I have the passion that I play with because of my father. So I can thank my dad who's not here for um, you know setting a great example for, for me and my family and um, once again thanks, thanks again Vancouver I love you. These lines, we'll be back next year. Still hasn't sunk in yet. You know, it's humbling to, you know, to win something that's never been done before in 103 years. I think about that, and I definitely will never, will not appreciate, you know, that award until I'm done playing football. Bring my mom and my sister and my family to, to, to the award show. It was special because here are the people that supported me. Here are the people that believed in me, and it kind of just symbolized everything that I went through, you know, and... Um, it meant a lot to me. Eyes on Tito Sinceri once again. Here comes the heat. And Sinceri is dropped. Back at the 30. And there he is. On cue. All my life I've just been, you know, scrapping and crawling and just trying to make it. Nothing ever came easy for me. Nothing did um, from high school to college to professional. It's I've always been doubted. I've always been counted out. So... When I sit back and think about it, I think that's why I've been so successful, because I use those situations as motivations. You know, I've been told that I wasn't good enough, but that's what I take pride in, man. When I'm able to accomplish something, it's not the fact that I accomplished it, it's everything that it took to get there. You know, the doubters, the naysayers, the injuries. That's what, that's what it's all about.